by Mr. Jia, Mr. Wang, and uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have no one to prepare the speech for me. <laughs> so I have to speak from my mind. Uh, we are here for the bridging divide for opportunity. We all here. So I like to share some of the history, my personal uh, experience, witness, bring, uh, bridging the divide for opportunity. Uh, more than 30 years ago, uh, we recognized the microprocessor technology are going to lead for second industrial revolution. And we don't like to have a divide between Taiwan and the United States. So we try to learn this new technology because it's so critical. And we come up, we thinking about this is important for bring a new opportunity for Taiwan. And I remember about 30 years ago, we found the 33 years ago, and we host a training course to learn the microprocessor technology. It's the digital technology, I will say, digital technology. And in three years, we trained 3,000 engineers. Those have a background, they are all electrical engineers, analog technology, not digital. Convert analog into the digital knowledge. And I believe today they are maybe about 50 or 60, the age. So they, they are the leader for the ICT industry in Taiwan right now. So we consider Really, we bring a lot of opportunity for Taiwan in this, uh, for this digital opportunity. And I'm witness myself. I'm not only gain a lot of reputation today, in the same time, I also making good money, right? It's important, this is the opportunity. So here, we are all together try to welcome a digital revolution. It's not the industry revolution, it's a really society, overall society revolution. So I think the digital knowledge is so critical. And we, let me also put, try to explain. The computer technology, CPU and operation, all from the US. But Taiwan just learned that and to do the application on personal computer and many others. So again, you can see a lot of ICT products is developed from Taiwan based on US core technology. But you looking into the digital opportunity, the application of the digital products actually is more and more important than product sale. Opportunity is much, much more than just a product sale. So right now, you all come to here, try to understand what's going on in Taiwan, in ICT industry, but how to apply those products for our life, I think have a lot of opportunity. And you can expect Taiwan will put all the effort, make all the ICT products is very, very inexpensive. You know, PC in close to one hundred dollars is you can you can expect in near future. So become very very popular when you have a cloud computing and everyone can enjoy the ICT technology. But to do the application is a bottleneck. So I think every country have an opportunity. 
try to find their own way to apply the ICT technology for their own benefit and create more and more opportunity. So ADOC 2.0 is trying to establish a platform for all the party have a social responsibility, party including the corporation and the individual. This social responsibility try to develop an effective way to realize the more and more opportunity in digital world. And we, I expect with our continual effort, there we will invite more and more resources involved, develop into this uh, direction and create more and more opportunity for all the society. I think this is the mission we all have to commit our share. So I welcome you uh, come to here and also we have opportunity to work together for many years to go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr.